Hello children and welcome back to the English session. Today we are going to learn about chapter 19 and it is different kinds of pronouns. So I hope all are ready with your worksheet page number 97. Okay are you ready? Okay so we'll move on. So in the previous lesson we have learnt about the introduction for pronouns isn't it? I hope you remember what are pronouns, isn't it? So can you tell me or can you recall what is a pronoun? Yes, a pronoun is a word that are used or that is used instead of a noun or instead of nouns. So the words that are used instead of nouns are called pronouns. Am I clear? Once again, the words that are used instead of nouns which means naming words are called pronouns okay so today we are going to the more detail into the more detail of the topic okay so it is types of pronouns am i clear so we are going to learn about the different types of pronouns and the first division is personal pronouns the first division is personal pronouns and the second one is the pronouns which shows belonging. Second type is the pronouns it shows belonging. And the third type is possessive pronouns or which shows ownership. Okay, so are you ready? So today we are going to look into this first division that is personal pronoun. So personal pronouns can be divided into three so the first division of pronoun is personal pronouns and the personal pronouns can be divided into three so i want everybody of you to be very careful when you learn this grammar concept or else you may get confused so to avoid the confusion later now we all listen carefully okay so that's it so it is personal pronouns and personal pronouns can be divided into three can be divided into three so the first one first person pronoun refers to the person speaking who's speaking here yes i am speaking right so it the person who's speaking that is the first person pronoun do you understand which means it is ourselves i or we examples are I and V. Am I clear? Examples are I and V. Okay. So I and V are the examples. So example using the pronouns are here. I saw an elephant. What is it? I saw an elephant. Here which is the pronoun used? I. I is the pronoun. Do you understand? So likewise one more example using we. We love to read books. We love to read books. There which is the pronoun used? Yeah it is we. We love to read books. Okay and the next one is I like apples. You know which is the pronoun? Yes I. I is the pronoun used. So once again listen carefully. That is, personal pronouns can be divided into three and the first one is first person pronoun. This one is first person pronoun which means the person who is speaking. So we used to uh, talk, isn't it? So the person who is speaking is known as the first person pronoun. Here, which are the first person pronoun? Which are the pronouns that comes in first person's place? That are I and V. So that when we talk, we'll say I. Isn't it? So that children, I am a teacher. They're I. Or I like apples. I. Or we love to read books. We. So all these are the pronouns which we use in the first place or first person's place. So they are known as first person pronoun. Am I clear? Okay, moving to the next one. The second person pronoun 
refers to the person spoken to to whom we are speaking they are the second person isn't it to whom we are speaking the first person means the person who is speaking and the second person here i am speaking and i am speaking to you children isn't it so you are the second person or second person pronoun is you do you understand okay so the second person pronoun refers to the person spoken to so example is you example is you so it can i have told you in the first video pronouns introductory video i have told you that you can be used both in singular and plural place isn't it you can use you to point out a singular person which means a single person as well as a group of people there also you can use you do you understand okay so you can be used in both the places singular as well as plural isn't it so here second person pronoun refers to the person speaking to example is you and using the example a sentence given is are you coming with me are you coming with me okay and the second example is do you have a pencil do you understand okay so there i am speaking and you are listening you i am speaking to you children so you are the second person or you is the word which we use in the place of second person pronoun so you is the second person pronoun am i clear the first person pronouns are i and we the second person pronoun is you is it clear okay so moving to the next one third person pronoun refers to the people or refers to the people or thing we speak about so that i am speaking and i am speaking to you you are second person pronoun you you comes in the second person pronoun and what we are talking about that is the third person pronoun it can be a people can be about a people isn't it we can talk about a pe person or a place or about a thing isn't it can talk about a person or we can talk about a place or we can talk about a thing so all these are the third person pronoun which means to whom or uh, about whom we are speaking or about what we are speaking that is what uh, that is what comes in third person pronoun am i clear once again i'll read third person pronoun refers to the people or thing we speak about so what are we speaking about that is the that is the third person pronoun it can be about a people can be about a person or it can be about a place or it can be about a thing am i clear so listen to the example so examples we use the pronouns which we use are he she it and they which are the pronouns he she it and they are the pronouns which we use in the third person's place am i clear which we use in the third person's place okay so example they are reading books you can see there they are reading books you can see in the picture a boy and girl they are reading books okay and the second one is it is a toy horse it is a toy horse okay so that is the next example am i clear so once again i'll repeat the third person pronoun refers to the people or thing we speak about the first person is the person who is speaking the second person is the person who is listening to me and the third person about what we are speaking do you understand okay that is the th three personal pronouns so again we'll just recall what we have learned today okay so i'm not going to mess up with every pronoun so today we will learn about the personal pronouns so the pronouns can be divided into three the okay the pronouns can be divided into three and they what they are they are personal pronouns second one is the pronouns which shows belonging and they are known as possessive adjectives 
okay so second pronoun which shows belonging is known as possessive adjectives and the third one is possessive pronouns okay there are three types of pronouns that we are going to learn in this stage or in this second standard okay three types of pronouns so types of pronouns the first one is personal pronouns second one is first one is personal pronouns second one is the pronoun which shows belonging and they are known as possessive adjectives and the third one is possessive pronouns which shows ownership okay we'll come into the detail of these two in the coming videos okay so today we have learned about the personal pronouns and it can be divided into three isn't it it can be divided into three the first person pronoun refers to the person speaking who is speaking the speaker or the person who is speaking is known as the first person pronoun so which are the pronouns that we use as the first person pronoun it is i and we so the first person pronoun refers to the person speaking i and we so keep in mind first person pronoun means the person who is speaking and the pronouns which we use in that place are i and we am i clear the second one is the second person pronoun refers to the person spoken to that is you that is you okay second person pronoun refers to the person spoken to the pronoun which comes in that place is you okay the next one is the third person pronoun refers to the people or thing we speak about which means he she it or they okay they are the pronouns which we use in the third person pronouns place okay so the third person means what we are speaking about okay the first person is the person who is speaking the second person is the person who is listening and what are we speaking about that comes in the third position okay so it can be about a person it can be about a place it can be about a thing okay so uh, so they are known as the third person pronouns so which are the pronouns which comes in the third person pronoun they are he she it and they which are the ones he she it and they okay i hope it is clear so once more i want you to be ready and be alert when you listen this video when you watch this video okay grammar concepts are your base which means you need it throughout your life if you speak english isn't it so which means be careful be alert and watch the video very carefully so that you won't be able to you won't be able to miss any concepts okay so make sure that you learn it thorough without any confusion okay so that is why we have split it into several videos okay so today you must learn the first set of pronouns they are personal pronouns i hope it is clear thank you children thank you for your time